In Creo Parametric, there is an obsolete markup mode that enables you to add notes to a drawing for corrections that you want someone else to make. And it is somewhat similar to the markup tools that you have in Creo View, except they are not as advanced. And again, it is an obsolete mode. So if you want to use the markup mode, you need to change a configuration option. If you go to File, Options, Options, and then Configuration Editor, I'm going to scroll down in here. I have an option set called Enable Obsolete Modes. You have to set this to Yes and then Restart Creo Parametric. Let me cancel out of the Options dialog box. And with that option set, you can go to the File New button, and then you can choose the markup as the type of object that you want to create. There are no subtypes. You can type in the file name and the common name and then click the OK button. And in my version, for some reason, it defaults to quick access being set to assemblies. This only works for drawings. So that's another one of the big differences compared to Creo View. Creo View, you can mark up parts, assemblies, and drawings. But anyhow, I have changed my quick access to drawing. Let me select the drawing that I want to mark up. Then I will click on the open button. And this puts me in the markup environment. Yes, you can see that we are back in the Pro Engineer Wildfire interface. This is a command that honestly has not been updated since the 1990s. And you're mainly going to use the menu manager over on the right hand side. The first command that we have up here is setup. And from that, what I usually use from here is color. You can change to whatever color that you want to use. For example, I want my markups in a nice bright red visible color. And another one that I use is line width because the default width is pretty thin and I can like something very prominent. And you're going to enter in a value between zero and one. I'm gonna use a value of 0.2, that should be good enough, and I'll hit the Enter key. And now we can start creating our different markups. So for example, you can create a line, and I can say that, oh, you know, maybe I don't want this symbol in here, so I'm gonna left click, and then left click, and then left click, and left click, so it looks like an X going through that. For the next entity that I am going to create, well, there's this sketch option here, and with the sketch option, it says that you are going to sketch a free form curve with the left mountain depressed, left mouse button depressed. So I can go ahead and squiggle that out if I want to. Then let's create a curve. So maybe I want to mark up that, you know, this is something that needs to change these different dimensions over here. So I'm doing a bunch of left mouse clicks and then I'll close off with the middle mouse button. I can do the same thing down here, a bunch of left mouse clicks and then middle mouse button. So there I have those two different curves created. And then we can throw in some arrows. So for example, I can put in an arrow. I can go from here over to about, let's say here, and maybe from here over to here. You're starting the left mouse click with where you want the arrow head to be. And then I can finish off with some notes. So for example, I could put a note and I could put it right here and I could write my note, change dims to, and then I'll hit the enter key. You can create a multi-line note. So then for the second line, I will write ordinate and then hit enter. And then to finish off the note, I will hit the enter key. So that is good for that one. Let's create another note and I will be typing in here, update logo and then hit enter. I'll just do a single line note and hit the enter key. And then I might decide, hey, you know what? Those two notes appear really small. Let's go to the modify command and I can choose to modify a note and then select the text to modify. And that's how you can change the text line if you want to. And it uses the old formatting where you had braces and then you had a number for which particular entity and then a colon key. And I could write in here, update logo to new one. And then 
hit the check mark in order to complete that one. And then I want to change some of my text. Let's change text style and select the text to modify. I will select this one, hold down the control key and select the other different parts of the notes and then click the OK button. And then for the text height, let's change this to a much bigger value. Let's change this to 0.4. You've got all the other different kinds of things that you can change to the text uh, that you want to. Let's click the OK button. So now they appear a little bit bigger. Then I realize, hey, you know what? I need to move them. Let me grab this one and adjust it so it's right there. Let me pick it again and just get it right where I want it to be. And same with this one. Let's grab this and then move that one over there. And so that's good. Let me middle mouse button to get out of that. And let's see, where's the old repaint button? And there's one other command in here where you can choose to delete different entities. So I can say, hey, you know what? I don't, lo I don't like that one after all. So I'll delete it and click the OK button. Then I'll zoom in and zoom out in order to repaint. So that's pretty much what you have with markup mode in case you want to annotate a drawing with changes that you want someone else to make.